What's up, everybody? How you guys doing? Uh, back and got a nice little exclusive today. Pretty excited about it. I actually picked this up online and got it shipped to store, so I didn't have to pay shipping. It was like ten bucks, so it wasn't wasn't too bad at all. Ready to add another Spider-Man to the collection. I am. Um, skeptical of how the shipping is going to be though they they did send it in a box if you could hear that i could do a little shake test sounds like there's some you know plastic in there i don't normally get anything shipped to store for walgreens i either pick it up uh in the store or i have it shipped directly to the house so this is a new experience for me hopefully it all go good let's check it out here we go, Walgreens, this side up, let's crack her open. Okay, all right, I like that. So, for anybody wondering how Walgreens ships, it's in a box, and they do put a sufficient, very good amount of packing paper. There's a little slip in there. So the bottom was not taped, but the flap was, so here we go. Look at that beauty, man. So what we have here is the Arachnite from the Infinity Wars, and they have a Soldier Supreme and Iron Hammer along with it. So if you can see that right there, it's like a Doctor Strange, Captain America, uh, Thor, Iron Man, and then obviously Spider-Man and Moon Knight. So here's that inside. That's how he's looking. I like it. It is a bobblehead too. I can see the, the neck is really long on this one. Put that right there. So, I mean, before we get too much into this, this we're going to go to the auto box here in a minute. And this is a glow as well, as you can tell by a sticker. So we're going to dive into that. But before that, uh, the only kind of thing I've ever seen on the Iraq Knight series is from the Infinity Wars, like comic books, because they haven't done any movies or uh, TV, sh uh, TV show style movies that are maybe 45 to hour long. And the Iraq Knight is... I, like I said, the Moon Knight and Spider-Man, and he was actually bit why, when he got into a run-in with uh, the Goblin, and he had, was not Spider-Man yet, and he had Uncle Ben and Aunt May with him, and they actually both end up dying, and Peter was in super critical, crucial, bad way condition, and a spider climbs up to him and kind of whispers in his ear, let me... Let me give you these powers, be one with me sort of thing. And, you know, bites them and there you go. It's just like any other Spider-Man story. But this one, however, Spider-Man uh, has the s most normal functions and powers of Spider-Man. He does have like a spidey batarang kind of thing that he throws at people. And he also is schizophrenic. I think that might be it, but he he hears he hears voices that uh, four to be exact, and he fought them for a while and stuff, but they actually didn't work out, and it was a struggle. And then he actually started to listen to him, and this uh, this comic book just kind of follows uh, his friend Harry, you know Harry Osborn, actually turning into the Green Goblin, introducing the glider for this you know series of comic books. So it was. It's actually pretty solid. They haven't gone too much. I know they actually have a whole Infinity Wars comic book saga. I think it started uh, last year, the year before maybe, with the Iraq Knight and Iron Hammer and all that sort of thing. So it was actually a pretty solid story. I dig it. Maybe you guys should check it out, or if you know a little bit more than that, let me know in the comments. I'd love to know. So with that. You know, we're going to hop to this out of box and this thing is beautiful, beautiful. This was a pop that was not even this actually this this wave of three pops was not even, you know, 
spoken of. It kind of just hopped on the shelves. Some people thought they were uh, customs at first or made up, but to this Spider-Man pop, the hood is beautiful on it. It has its own own mold. I love it. He's obviously in an in action pose. It does look similar to other Spider-Man action poses, but I will cut them a break because it's a whole new character. The suit is on key to what it looks like in the comic books. I would love for this to be a suit in the new uh, Miles Morales game. That would be pretty dope for it to be an alternate suit. This thing is beautiful. You can see his web shooters and the armor going from down his arms. The shoes, man, look like he got on some Jordan 1s, dang near, you know, or some Yeezy ones, black and red. <laughs> but you can, you can see, like, all the details that they try to put in, like, on his pants and the chest, the arms. I, I dig it a lot. It's, it's a very clean pop. It came out of nowhere. Like I said, you guys, they, for me, they never, ever disappoint with this Spider-Man line. It's just they always know how to hit it right. And I'm glad that they didn't take that route of going too crazy with the chromes. I know there's four out there right now, the gold and then the three pack. I'm pretty sure that's it. I have the gold, not really interested in any other chromes, not chrome buyer. So still pretty solid. I love this thing. This is super clean. And the glow on this, I think I've seen one um, picture maybe floating around, but in, in person and video, it's a whole other experience. They actually did the glow like phenomenally on this. I have a problem with some glows that they don't they don't glow it's it's not enough sometimes with this you can't complain with it not having enough glow in it the the glow is all over it it's 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 clutch pop i love this thing this is super 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 like man i'm gonna have to do a uh, top top spider-man 2020 pops for you guys here soon and I've been waiting for them to come out with a lot of these um, like alternate costumes. I did want uh, a video on the Scream MK Armor 3 and the Superior Octopus suit. And I was waiting for those to come in as well. So maybe, you know, here soon uh, we can get past uh, NYCC and might put, might put that out there for you guys. I'm getting caught up on, on the videos and such. <laughs> Got a, a backlog going on those, but we all caught up. This one just came in. I had to. I was excited to do this one, and I was like, "Uber geek." I needed. I needed to see this glow, and doesn't disappoint. Funko, you doing it, man? Hey, Spider-Man fan, I, I can't complain. Y'all pump them out slowly for me, so it's not an overkill. I do know that. The Miles Morales video game will have its own wave here next year. So I can't wait for that. You guys, did you pick up this one or any of the ones out of this wave? There were three. Let me know. This is a Walgreens exclusive. They actually had six. And they actually had a few more Halloween ones like the Minions and uh, Invisible Man. Stuff like that. A lot of Walgreens exclusives come, coming out the past two, three weeks. Make sure you guys go check those out. Let me know what you got. If you get these in the comments, uh, they're hidden stores everywhere. I know that they were online. That's where I got mine. This sold out actually first. So yeah, you guys, let me know. Did you pick up the Arachnite? I love this thing. Thanks, man. Take it easy, you guys.